are back. Um, just got got the uh, camera going again here. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, yes, okay, we are recording. Okay. Um, what's interesting is that I sat here for so long, it actually went into the X screensaver mode. I think I've seen it jump a couple of times. I think it's supposed to jump around or something, but... Yep, there we go. Okay, so... It wants volume number five. So, one... Here's five. See, this is exactly why this is such a... boneheaded idea, really. Is that if you're changing a lot of discs and you're doing like what I'm doing here with multiple videos and multiple installs on the same system, having like a million of these little candies is arguably very handy. You're never going to scratch the disc. You can really just chuck it around. You don't have to, you know, really worry about it. But if you're constantly taking them in and out, it, you're going to end up. Uh, let's see if I got one here. You're going to end up breaking one of these clips off. You uh, are supposed to squeeze these two points, and then that tray can open, like like so. As you can see on this one, I broke that one off over time. So, anyway, this number five, I just had it, where did it go? There we go. Put that in. Wait for it to finish, and hit enter. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, so in retrospect, I should have probably put the disc in first and then tell you about the amazing little clip. So, you know, neat little story could have been a bit more efficient with the time here. But we're almost done. We're on number 32 of 33. And we should be... There we go. Finished processing all file sets. So, it says that uh, we are finished with success. So we can close that. Uh, let's see here. Do you want to install or mount any of the documentation that is on the operating system base library CD? Contains documents on topics such as system management, program concepts, installation, and user's guides. Um, nah, I don't really want to do that. Right. Well, you know what? Let's let's go for it. Why not? Why not? Okay. Insert the documentation CD into your CD-ROM. Ah, see, this is why I thought I shouldn't do this because I don't have the documentation CD. So we're gonna go back and say no. I don't want to install any documents. And then we hit next, and it says, well, it's been installed completely, so we hit OK. And we're done. So now, well, we can close now. See, I don't know what this is. Why does it say it failed? Eh, I don't know. Exit the configuration system. So, next. Now. Uh, you have completed all the installation, blah, blah, blah. After you exit, you can log in and use the system. Cool. Uh, you can choose to return to the configuration system at another time. Depending on how you exit, may or may not automatically restart the next time you boot the system. Well, we're done with it, so we don't need so need to have it run again. So do not start the configuration system when restarting the OS. So finish. And it looks like it's going to do a reboot. Nope, it's just shutting down the X server. I'll Eject the CD, and it looks like we can try to log in. So let's do a root, put the password in, and here we go. So this is uh, going to be pretty much spot on to uh, the GNOME video that I recorded earlier. Um, one of the quick things I'm going to do here is uh, on that past install, I did not have the uh, HTTP server and uh, Netscape loaded. So let's see if we can't uh, find that app, fire it up, and uh, take a look at that management interface. You know, once this thing, you know, loads. 60 megahertz system, not the fastest in the world. I'd hate to see what this thing would be like with less RAM, too. <laughs> So we got uh, GNOME version 2.2 doing its thing. Do do do. Moving right along. Do do do. Do do do. Yeah, okay, it's not fast at all. <laughs> Do, 
doing something on the hard drive, though. There we go. Now oh, we're cooking. There we are, look at that. Got the whole everything here. Oh, hey, I can change the desktop background. That's something I didn't do in my other video. wonder what I can change it to. Uh, oh, I can select pictures. I can do a gradient. I believe that's what it's doing right now. I wonder if I... Oh, I see. It's just sort of <laughs> going into the file system. I have no idea if I have any JPEGs or anything anywhere on this thing. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, icons, maybe? Uh, those are icons. Alright, well, anyway. Close that out. So we wanted to see if <coughs> Netscape is on here. They talked about doing it. Games, graphics, programming, system tools, home folder, CDE menu. So it's not showing that. So, if I suspect, we may be able to just execute it. If it's going to load the file browser here. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, cool. Where is it running? Is this Nautilus? Yep, it's Nautilus. Copyright 2001. <laughs> okay, so I'm willing to bet it's probably going to be under Opt. And probably Freeware. Bin? Uh, maybe bin. A lot of things in bin. 263 items in bin. Uh, instead of viewing as icons, I want to view as a list. to the ends here. G on the G's M. And it doesn't say. It's well it's not an opt freeware bin, so let's uh let's see if we can't find find it here using some of the traditional text mode stuff. Let's try the um the where is and the find commands. Where is? Oh, see, there's that damned H key again. Bear with me, I gotta beat up the keyboard until I get my G and H keys. There we go. All right. Yes. So where is like for example where is um, KSH? So KSH is in user bin KSH. So where? Oh really? I lost my H already? Where is that? Oh, it's in user bin Netscape. Okay. User slash bin slash Netscape. We'll just run.
run it from here. That ought to be pretty simple. This ought to be pretty painful, <laughs> performance-wise. Ah, all right. Hey, got a license agreement. Yep, we do accept that. That's game for communicator version 4.8. Ah, there's a blast from the past. Uh, let's see here. A directory has been created for use as the disk cache. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, right. So, boy, I wonder if it'll uh, get anywhere. So we should be able to from here. I don't rather not from that, but from a web, from a web, from a command prompt. Hopefully, be able to ping some things on the network. There's that rotating little link there. The uh, the old Netscape N. I'm pretty sure I clicked that. There we go. Okay, terminal. Okay, ping. Uh, my router. Oh come on, the G is doing this again. Okay. Alright, so apparently Netscape is unhappy. B I N G. Come on. Ugh. N G. Come on, really? There we go. Uh, 192.168.123.1. Okay, I'm able to ping that. Ping. Google.com. Google.com is working too. Great. So perhaps the Netscape uh, that it's trying to go to just doesn't exist anymore. That could very well be. Home.netscape.com may just not exist anymore. So let's do www.google.com. Well, that's not right. Oh, because I spelled Google wrong. Google.com. Google. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's hilarious. www.arstech.com. That's going to take a bit. See, I immediately said, oh, hey, I should open up another tab and do this, but no such thing as tabs on these. It's been such a long time. I'm getting a lot of those black bars again. There we go. Been such a long time. Slash dot. Slash dot dot o r g, which I of course typed in correctly. Boy, that's just taking its sweet time there. Let's well, Google for slash dot. Well, slash uh, Google searches load up pretty quick. Hmm. Weird. So, Wikipedia? Yeah, Wikipedia loads up pretty nice. Wow. Very different layout. <laughs> it's the uh, Wikipedia page for slash dot. Oh, another thing I noticed. Hey, the scroll wheel doesn't work on my mouse. Man, what's that all about? That, uh, that should work. And so, you know, we can load up the AIX, uh, IBM AIX. So it's actually pretty pretty zippy when you're only talking, you know, text pages like this. Um, you know, grand scheme of things, that's not too bad. You know, you start getting into, you know, here, let's, uh, let's do something crazy. www.amazon.com. This ought to be hilarious. JavaScript error. <laughs> Won't even load. <laughs> well, anyway, what we wanted to do was we wanted to try out the local host. So we do rinswind.analux dns.biz Oh, I can't go to that.
No, it's not accepting connections. Uh, oh, no. Why did I click the shop button? Well, so, local. Local lost. No. Local host. I gotta get a different keyboard on this thing. This is ridiculous. Yeah, local host also. No, no dice there. Well, we can... We can close this out. We've we've figured out what's going on there. So, but uh, E F fight more. Curious to see if there is a www server running here. Yeah, the HTTP D light system is running. So I would think I should be able to connect to it. But well, anyway. <clears> Hi. <throat> So you've been able to see now the install for AIX um, on a system like this um, using the GNOME interface. I'm going to make another video where we do the KDE install, uh, mostly because I'm curious to see if it's any different myself. Um, I'm not going to bother with the CDE one because everybody's seen that um, it, if you've done AIX installs, of course, or any old Unix system. So then I'm going to show that install. Then uh, the next couple of videos, I want to do a video about... Cracking my knuckles there. <laughs> I want to do a video about the KDE install. I want to do a video about doing the maintenance pack updates on this one, because right now we're at maintenance pack zero. There are nine maintenance packs available for it, or something crazy like that. Um... Then I want to start getting into customizations for using it for a server. So how do you get GCC onto it? How do you compile software for it? How do you do this? How do you do that? So it should be a really fun set of videos, so please stay tuned.